and welcome to Roosevelt Rebel with your host, Tisa Rebel Beltran. <laughs> All right. I can't hear. Turn, I just remembered I turned the volume down on everything. <sighs> anyway, I'm not feeling well today. So, being... Hold on, my a fab. We have this wonderful thing called uh, monthly menstruation, and then we have a thing called menopause when the menzies gets paused. And um, if you can hear that, I'm I'm, I'm doing <laughs> driving in the car, doing the truck. Here comes another car. Oh, and I like it. What is it? I want it. Toyota. Um, so, I'm just feeling like poopy shit. So, I was doing so good not having a period at all. And going through the pre-menopause. And then... All of a sudden, it just came back in full force the past three months. And it is horrible. I'm going to tell you that it is horrible. Um, only for the fact that um, I didn't bring a hat with me. Damn it. My ADD gets horrible. Horrible. Horrible is going to be the word. Because I'm fucking feeling shitty. My ADD, my ADHD, ADHD, gets horrible. I knew something was up all week when, like, I couldn't even focus. Um, I just felt all sorts, all out of sorts. And I was like, what is going on? This is, like, bad. Because usually I'm doing really well with it. And uh, just this week, the focus was not focusing. And... Today I woke up just sad. <laughs> and I shaved my head. I was like, okay, let's just like maybe this will make me feel better. Just get the hair off my head. Um, because I was letting it grow out and then I just got I was like, eh, let's see what we can do. And so I saw what we could do. And um I was just like, forget it. I'm just gonna shave it right now and like work on getting it growing out again. So that's, so I shaved this morning and then, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And then I sat down at the, the dinner table with my mom. They were eating lunch. My mom and dad were eating lunch. And I was like, I'm hungry. I need, I, I'm hungry, but I don't, I'm not hungry. It, it's just like, you know, the fucking bullshit that comes along with ADHD where you know you need to eat, but you, like my ADHD hasn't been this bad in years and i know that it gets bad when it comes along with my period so and my fibromyalgia and anything because my hormones are all off balanced and jacking my life up so i sat at the dinner table and i was like fuck i need to go to liz's and um because i'm dog sitting this weekend and i was like i need to go to okay that makes me happy i just saw a purple air machine guy so that made me happy and i um, if you know me i love the little air machine guys uh, i don't remember what they're called at this right now so anyways so i was like i fucking need to go to my sister's i needed because i'm dog sitting i was like i probably should stay the night there so uh the dog gets all the attention in the world because she just left this morning so i was like i'm just going to um just chill with the dog tonight and do homework because I have I have a lot of homework due. Well, it's not a lot. Well, yeah, you would say it's a lot that per usual of what my homework's been recent. Um, it's just like one paper due tonight and then like a six page report due Monday. But I was like, but if I go downtown because that's where I'm heading for my food, I was like, I might as well just go to my sister's and uh, and I was just like, ugh, I don't want to go, but I made, 
I don't want to go right now. I don't want to have to drive back and then go back and forth. And my mom's like, well, you don't have to go till later. So just go eat. And then I sat there. I was like crying. I was like, mom, I just don't like the way that I feel. Hormones are stupid. I was like, this is all bullshit. And so here I am. <laughs> I got in the fucking car. I was like, okay, I need to fucking eat. What do I want to eat? I'm like really wanting some breakfast, but then I really want a sandwich. And I was like, oh my God, should I go to snooze or do I go to fucking Carly's? So I'm just driving. I'm just going to drive and see where I go. But being a fab is sometimes not fab. You know what I mean? Yeah, you guys know what I mean. And the male counterparts that are listening to this, you know what? Deal with it. Because women, this is something you need to know about. And being ignorant to it is just ignorant. Like, this is a new generation of men that should know what's going on instead of being dumb about it. And being grossed out. Like, my dad's still that way. 85 years old. He's, he, well, just with the commercials when they come on the TV, he's like, what was this on? Like, okay, that was, it's been years because he doesn't watch TV anymore. But he would get all fucking ridiculous about it. But that man would go and buy all of his daughters, all five of them, and probably his wife. So six people, six AFABs. Some of their damn tampons and pads. So, you know, he, my dad is, is, is amazing. So, but I'm heading downtown, making my way downtown. And it's Friday at one because I woke up and, I, and I'm mad at myself because I thought I closed my blinds all the way, but I did not. Because I woke up to the sun blaring in my eyes. And I was like, I just wanted to sleep. I just want to sleep in. It's my fucking day off. And I don't fall asleep till 2 o'clock every night. I'm like all sorts of jacked. And, and I, I think it might be because I haven't been drinking my poppy. And that you, that's a probiotic. If y'all don't know, it's a probiotic soda. And I would have one a day. And like I was feeling so good. Everything was going good. I And now I'm just like not... Uh, TMI, I guess, not pooping. Like, this made me regular. And so that's that. Oh, my gross. There's like a Corvette in front of me, and he has the fucking Blue Lives Matter bullshit. So, yeah. But that's a lot of TMI for y'all on a. F- Friday episode, but you know what? It's life. I'm sure somebody uh what do you call it? Relates. <sighs> but I'm feeling better talking to you guys. See, that makes me feel better. Oh my god, there was like an older Corvette from like the 80s sitting on the side of the road, and there's this newer Corvette. That's so crazy. Parallel universe? No. It's just the universe. So now I'm trying to decide where I'm going to go eat. So I have the option and this Roosevelt rebel is going to be driving down Roosevelt right now to see what I feel. <laughs> is it going to take me? Is it going to take, is it going to take me to Roosevelt or uh, St- Carly's or is it going to take me to the other place? Snooze. We'll find out. So a lot of people in the neighborhood are really, well, downtown neighborhood. So 7th Avenue and just south of Roosevelt, they built a Chick-fil-A. The neighbors and and the people in the neighborhood are very upset because it's a very gay neighborhood and they don't want Chick-fil-A to be up in their grill. So a lot of people are upset about it. Um, But from my understanding, Chick-fil-A was like changing their tune. They had like a diversity manager and shit. And trying to get things all better from my understanding. Um, but I'm not too sure. Can't be too sure. And the, uh, I don't know. I just saw a fucking guy with a beard on a bike and it just, this is, this is what, what is becoming gentrification. It has been for like 10 years gentrificated downtown Phoenix, but I really miss all the old houses. Like I saw a picture in my memories of this house 
that was like on it was by Crescent Ballroom and it was like definitely haunted and then it was gone it's gone oh my god I wish that I had millions of dollars to buy one of these houses down here you know what I would be a fucking what is the word now yuppie is it still yuppie what is the word because then they were called the millennials were called what were they called Oh man, bad brain day. I'm telling you, good thing I warned you guys in the beginning that I'm fucking having these PMDD motherfucking ovulated bullshit happening in my brain. But yeah, if I had millions of dollars, I would totally buy a historic home down here and just be a a fucking queen and live on my balcony. Well, not live on the balcony, sit on my balcony and drink my cafecito and be a happy, happy little munchkin. I accept the fact that I'm a munchkin. But yeah, so let's see how I'm feeling. I'm getting closer to to Carly's and I just passed Lola Coffee. I'm on Roosevelt. I'm just looking around and seeing how things have changed. And my, you know, Kyle used to live in the Laird, not the Laird, Westminster. Laird is, wait, was it Laird? Wait, Laird is the one that's on, on McDowell. And that's where everybody fucking wanted to live. Even I wanted to live there. I'm just trying to, like, get through this next two weeks. <laughs> I only have one week left of one class. So that's where I'm going with that. So I'm coming up to Carly's, and I'm wondering if I'm feeling it. Or do I want breakfast? I'm trying to decide. Do I want a sandwich? What, what would feel good in my mouth right now? I I've been, I took <laughs> I took the Radzar test, dudes. And uh, I'm understanding. Um, so when my friend, oh, this guy's hitting up his fucking joint on the side of on the corner of the street and dancing oh, downtown. Um, downtown is where you go and they're like hitting their fucking joints and like smoking weed. Then you go to fucking Maryvale and they're like fucking on the blues. That's so sad. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm feeling more breakfasty. Where is the breakfast at? Central. I think I just passed Central. Central South. I think it's Central South. I'm going to find out right now if I'm going in the right direction. I don't think I am. I think it's Central South. I don't know. But downtown. I think I just need to move downtown. That's what I'm feeling right now. I think I need to move downtown. Um, where the fuck is snooze? I guess I should probably put it into the little machine here. Oh my god, I'm probably going to have to pull over, aren't I? Because I don't even remember where it is. Okay, I see it. I found it. Oh my god, I missed the turn. So how do I fix that? Because can you go northbound? Because everything has changed downtown. Everything changes, and I can't turn here. But everything changes downtown all the time. Like, I come down here, and there's something new all the time. There's, like, these big-ass fucking buildings ruining my life. Just kidding. Um, I'm letting it go. I'm letting go of the big buildings. I'm letting go of all this, like, change. <laughs> change. <laughs> Hello, autism. So I need to go get officially diagnosed. I have fucking... The numbers that say on the rads are test so i need to go get tested for real because that's what my uh <laughs> rads are test told me oh my god so crazy oh my god so yeah this episode i was gonna be like talking about animals and stuff but like then i sat at the fucking dinner table and was like bawling talking to my mom and and now I f- I'm like feeling way better now that I talk to you guys. And uh, now I'm trying to find somewhere to park because downtown there's no meters. Let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Guess what? I'm feeling way better now that I've talked to you guys. Thank you for listening. <laughs> 
feeling so much better. But yeah, um, I wanted to talk about um, hold on, I'm parking. I wanted to talk about is this a parking space? Yeah, I need, I need to pull up. I wanted to talk about Ibut. Oh man, Tesla's everywhere. I wanted to talk about um animals. <laughs> that was my fucking plan today. Was that I was gonna talk to you guys about fucking animals. And um that didn't happen, did it? I was gonna talk to you about I sound fucking Canadian here, man. I was gonna talk to you. Is this good? There's a door behind me. Uh, is this good? I don't know if this is good enough. Um, how far am I? I'm parking, you guys. That's good enough. So, I was going to talk about it to you, to you about animals because I was like looking at my turtles today and sadly I'm going to have to rehome them. Um, I did not know that I had two females and they have been at it and I, they say to reach out to your people before you make a decision. And I've reached out to my people and guess what? Nobody wants a fucking turtle. So there's two of them. One of them, I thought they were a male and female and brought a breeder. Um, tank and everything. I thought they were male and female and I was getting ready for it. Turns out they're both female. They fight a lot. They do not love each other. They are starting to snap and bite each other. So I was like, okay, I don't have enough room to get two tanks in this room. So I'm going to have to get rid of one. Nobody wanted it. Wanted her. So then I started reading about everything else and then I find out that you have like the the light that I have does not provide enough UV rays and enough heat for my turtles. And the scuts or the scoots, don't know how to pronounce it, are all getting not good looking. So I decided, I made the hardest decision ever that I'm going to have to uh, donate them to a uh, society where they you have to pay like 40 bucks and they'll take them and they'll also take like everything else like the um tank and everything you can and it's a 401k so you could write them off on your taxes so yeah that's what i'm going to do on monday is get rid of my turtles i'm so sad bob and sally will be leaving and i was like ready for them to get picked up and then i was like if i don't let dylan say goodbye to them this that will be the end of the world when the bearded dragon passed away he still talks about it it's been almost a year and it's traumatizing for this little dude he's so emo for animals it's so hard it's so hard but um yeah I want to talk about about what turtles do, so because <laughs> you know that like animals are like going away, and nobody gives a fuck about animals, and it's really sad. And like humans are ruining everything because growing up, we learned in the eighties, we grew up learning about animals and what their purpose in life was and stuff like that. And do kids learn that now? I don't think that they do. So I was sitting there and I was like, okay, every animal has a reason and their purpose in life. What are turtles animal? What are turtles purposes? So I went to researching and their purpose is to eat all the dead fish that are around the pond and eat them. And they're there to eat all the bugs and stuff. So they're ba basically, uh, tr trash pandas. <laughs> But for real, that's like their point of them was to, is to eat other um, dead things around the pond and like things that are not good. So I think that was really cool to find out this morning. That's what their whole purpose is, is to eat dead fish and dead animals all, all around. And that is a really cool thing to find out. 
But I just wanted to go on here and just like give you an episode, but I'm probably going to op- do another one more on the subject of the animals' purposes. Because I think it'll be educational and maybe I'll talk to Dylan because Dylan, this dude, this little dude is the smartest kid I've ever known and, uh, and ADHD is strong in him and I really hope that he can stay on the path of smartness because you know, uh, all of us ADHDers out there that were super intelligent as kids and then just traumatically things happened. So I'll be doing another episode this weekend with Dylan and I'm going to talk to him about shit, but I'm going to go ahead and let you go because I'm at the breakfast place I'm going to eat and I'm hungry and I'm feeling a lot better talking to you guys in my little bit of therapy session. But thank you for tuning in. This is uh, Tisa Rebel Beltran. Please check out on the socials uh roosevelt rebel actually it's rebel riot on facebook and also tisa beltran there's a bunch there's like two there's the and then there's tr beltran which is my painting and stuff like that so look up look at it look at it go and then thug sunshine's not really much i'm like trying as i said in the last episode i'm like trying not to be on social media but it's also something that needs to be done because that's where i get you guys so tune in and look up all the social media stuff and new roosevelt rebel stickers and roosevelt uh uh rebel riot stickers are on its way they will be for like two or three bucks each and um the website will be up hopefully soon and you guys get to see everything i appreciate you my listeners i love you all so much i love you, love you, love you and i feel way, way better thank you guys for being here um and i'll let you know about this journey of seeing if i am for realsies autistic but i really am having i'm on the, on the umbrella and because of the adhd <sighs> but when you're older the autism and ADHD in women gets diagnosed. So we'll find out. Uh, But it seems like it is. And like, I'm realizing the more that I talk things out and talk about my trauma, it is like in the forefront. So I do appreciate everybody. Love ya. This is Roosevelt Rebel with Tisa Rebel Beltran. Bye-bye.